So, it's been more than two weeks now since the final Battlefield 1 easter egg was solved and I've had plenty of time to play with it up until now so I thought I'll give you my take on the famous sidearm and whether it's really worth all the effort of unlocking it. To avoid being repetitive, I'm not going to go through all the unlock requirements, so I'll leave a link down below. Firstly, let's discuss whether the Peacekeeper is any good by outlining its strength and weaknesses. At the moment, there are no stats available on simtech.com, so we'll just have to work with what we've got. So in terms of firepower, it fires a .45 ACP cartridge and inflicts 60 damage on opponents within approximately a 10 meter radius. That makes it the most powerful revolver in Battlefield 1 and is only outdone by the Obrez, which has a max damage of 100 but a significantly slow rate of fire if you compare the two. Having a max damage output of 60 means that the Peacekeeper can take out opponents with only one headshot, making it less unforgiving if you miss but it's still very much a skill cannon, especially if you're trying to use it as a primary. From the in-game stats, we can also tell that the Peacekeeper has a fire rate of 120 rounds per minute, which makes it the slowest fire revolver in the entire game. However, the 120 rounds per minute fire rate is only fixed to when you're ADSing and not when you're firing from the hip. When firing from the hip, the Peacekeeper is almost twice as fast and can offload the rounds in a matter of seconds. So ADSing isn't something that you want to be doing, especially in close quarters. But do keep in mind that the faster fire rate while hip firing does substantially increase the recoil. The damage drops off at around 20 meters, so using the Peacekeeper to snipe long range targets isn't something I would recommend. To add to that, the iron sights aren't ideal either. It's a bit too small and blends into the weapon making it even harder to hit your targets consistently. However, those aren't the biggest weaknesses of the Peacekeeper. It's actually the animations. The animations are without a doubt unique and cool, but at the same time can be very distracting. There seems to be an animation before every reload and every deployment, which means a longer reload time and longer deployment time. Now, I don't know how significant the delays are in terms of seconds, but it's definitely noticeable and adds to the already long reload time. Overall, the Peacekeeper lacks in speed when ADSing, reloading and deploying, however the stopping power is unrivaled and for that reason alone I would say it's one of the best if not the best revolver in Battlefield 1 to date. But does that mean it's worth all the effort of unlocking it? In my opinion, the requirements needed to unlock the Peacekeeper make it very time consuming rather than challenging. So I would say if you have the luxury of time, it's definitely worth the grind, but if you don't, you're not missing out at all. It's not a game changing sidearm, but rather a fun one to use because of all the animations, which can only be seen in first person by the way. Also keep in mind that DICE could eventually release the Peacekeeper to everyone, just like they did with the Phantom Bow in Battlefield 4. So that's all for this short review. I hope that helped you make up your mind on whether to pursue the Peacekeeper or not. Leave a like, share your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.